pump from the housing uh, located in my uh, mechanical room is uh, uh, a deep hole I am just pulling it out from the hole and here is the sump pump you can see it was sitting there for about five years or so but it's full of dirt and you can see that this pump is quite heavy and cable is dangling everywhere and this is a pretty deep uh, housing for my sump pump because I measure the depth of the pipe from the top to bottom it is um, over eight feet so we uh, for the sump pump I need few stops uh, to get it going uh, first of all the drainage pipe the drainage pipe is here uh, it's a one and a half inch drainage pipe PVC drainage pipe I will need uh, the adapter here this is a one and a half inch adapter you can see it here as a PEX uh, one and a half inch adapter so this side of this adapter will go uh, into the pump and the upper side here uh, we will insert the drainage pipe like this here I'm showing here the drainage pipe I'll insert the drainage pipe in the upper side here and the, the bottom is going to the pump and here's one thing I want to mention as well uh, when the drainage pipe is gonna go in here I have to use this um, they call it premium grade yellow cement cement so this is actually kind of uh, PVC pipe glue super strong and it just act like cement so I have to use this cement or glue here inside this uh, adapter and put that uh, drainage pipe in so that when it when it goes in it just stays there no matter what it doesn't come uh, you know come loose right one more thing so uh, this is the flexible coupling one and a half inch uh, flexible coupling so this coupling will be used to connect the drainage pipe with the existing pipe in the housing so that pipe what is already there uh, so the reason it is flexible is like you know there are three screws here uh, so once I uh, insert the drainage pipe in the bottom of it like this so drainage pipe goes in and the upper part so upper part will be connected with the existing pipe so suppose this is the existing pipe here so for demonstration existing pipe here so upper part will go in like this and you can have to lose it up a little bit more but uh, anyway this is the idea here so you got the idea yeah it is in now so you see that upper part of the up, upper part is going there and bottom part is going there and now I can tighten the screw here so once I tighten the screw it will act like the connected pipe whereas in future if I want to take this uh, some pump off once again in future for any problem I can just you know loosen this screw and get it unhooked from the top one and can bring the sump pump back into the ground for fixing or replacing so that's why this flexible coupling is a good idea to use for uh, putting the sump pump back into the uh, into the housing just got everything set up and here is the sump pump you can see 
So I bought the pump. I bought the drainage pipe. I bought all the accessories and I put it on one after another and got this one here. You can see this is a pretty long pipe and the cable like you know power cord I mean is pretty long as well. You can see I tied it down and different spots so the power cord is sitting there it's not loose and um, I put the um, uh, drainage pipe with the adapter uh, put a coupling on top and I tied down the, the power cord what I'm showing here so that it doesn't um, uh, you know just uh, fall apart when it is inside the housing Now it is time uh, for the sump pump, putting it back into the housing. The new sump pump, I mean, I mean uh, the uh, the new one, what I got. So I'm um, uh, lowering it down in the housing. I took help uh, of a um, rope on top of the drainage pipe uh, to give some extra support to this heavy sump pump. I'm um, um, uh, putting it back into the housing you see I'm trying to keep the balance on the on the cable on, on the rope and the drainage pipe as well so that it can land uh, safely and easily to the bottom of the housing I'm having a bit difficulty to land it um, nicely to the bottom but it will take some time to get to the right spot and I am as I have the rope with me so it's is really helping me to land it down nicely to the bottom of the housing it has landed and I'm also trying to um, uh, tie, tie down the rope so that it doesn't uh, fall into the housing. Uh, I want to keep the uh, keep the rope um, with the uh, with the with the pump so that uh, for any future uh, operations I might need to um, pull it out once again so that this rope can help me. So it has landed. Into the bottom now I have to uh, uh, I have to um, put the coupling back into the, the, the back to the drainage pipe uh, with the remaining uh, portion of the drainage pipe which is um, already um, there so I'm just trying to untie it, uh, the, the coupling screws here it's not easy to access the the the, the screws because like I said it's a deep housing and and the access is really really um, uh, restricted but you know you got to do what you got to do right so um, I'm also having difficulty to pull out the uh, um, uh, power cord it was sitting uh, it was actually you know uh, sitting a little bit down uh, but I have to pull it out from the from the uh, from the housing so that you know trying to um, uh, keep it there and I also have to tackle the rope as well now I'm trying to tight the um, coupling so that it does what it does now I have started the pump and seems like it is sucking the water. 